And now we're gonna go through Kirchhoff's rule. Um, Kirchhoff's rule, so you cannot analyze all circuits like we were just doing. Um, you don't have enough information. So you can't reduce this circuit here to an effective constant voltage plus um, plus uh, some voltage source plus a single resistor. Um, so what you can do is use Kirchhoff's rules. And what Kirchhoff's rules say basically is that your total, there's, there's one that says that your total um, current into the circuit um, has to, into a junction, sorry, a junction is where um, you have wires coming together. So the total current going in has to equal the current going out. Now I'm just drawing haphazardly here. Um, you, your choice of sign convention is somewhat arbitrary. All that matters is that you approach the problem self-consistently. So the way I've drawn this, I1 plus I2 has to equal I3. So the sum of the currents has to be, um, the currents have to, you have to get as much out as you got as you put in because we have a steady state system here. So it's like if you have a hose turn, this is not like if you have a hose turned on, if you have a hose turned on, you're going to fill up, um, fill, you're going to make a giant puddle or fill up a pool or something. Um, when you're talking about circuits, you have a steady state, so you can't get a buildup of charge. So you have to have as much current going through as you go out, uh, as you as you have in. And the other rule states that you have the sum of your voltages as you go around a loop has to equal zero. And that's basically saying if you drive around in a circle, you have to end up in the spot where you started. Um, so if I go around this circuit, um, then my voltage, so here I go up in current. And then as I, um, as I go down, uh, I'm going to have a decrease. I'm gonna, if, I'm going in the direction of my of, that I defined the current to go in. I'm going to have a decrease in voltage and another decrease in voltage. This one's a little tricky. Um, depends on which way the way I just had just drawn it. The current is going um, counterclockwise, so I would still decrease voltage. So that would say the sum of the voltage drops across the resistor has to equal the voltage due to the um, due to the power source.